Hey, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you all how we can create lists in HTML. There's three lists we're going to talk about, unordered, ordered, and description lists. Let's begin with unordered lists. To create an unordered list, we need a pair of UL tags for an unordered list. And between these UL tags, we can create individual list items. And we use a pair of LI tags for each item we would like to add to our list. So what's an example of an unordered list? One thing that comes to mind is a shopping list, like a grocery list, because, well, I'm kind of hungry right now, it's breakfast time. Let's say that we're going to bake a pizza and we need a list of ingredients. We need pizza dough, so add an item between this pair of LI tags, and we now have one bulleted item within our unordered list. And let's create another item, so we can just copy and paste this pair of LI tags and create a new list item. What about tomato sauce? and then maybe cheese and toppings. Point being, to create an unordered list, you need a pair of UL tags, and with each list item you would like to add to your unordered list, you just place within a pair of LI tags for list item. An ordered list is very similar, except we use OL tags. So we need an opening OL tag and a closing OL tag. So by default, each list item is going to be numbered. So let's say that we have a to-do list. To add a list item, we need to use a pair of LI tags. Perhaps this is a schedule of what we have to do in the morning. We have to eat breakfast. That could be one list item. So to add another item, we need another pair of LI tags. Then maybe we need to take a shower. So each of these is numbered and they're in ascending order. And then we want to, what about leave for work? Okay, so yeah, that is an ordered list. The order of the list items does matter. And we can change the type too. Within the opening OL tag, there is a type attribute. We can set each list item to a number, a letter, or Roman numerals. If I would instead like letters, I can just set the type equal to A. And our list items are now marked with the letter. And we have description lists. We need a pair of DL tags for description lists. And instead of using an LI tag for each list item, we use a pair of DT tags for description term and DD tags for description definition. So for a term that is DT, and then we add a definition to this term. Let's say we have a list of web dev languages. For a term, we need an opening DT tag and a closing DT tag. And then we can add a definition to this term. So that would be DD. Description definition. Between the opening and closing DD tags, we can add a definition to this term. Let's say that this adds structure to a web page. And then to create another term and definition pair, we can just copy this. Let's add CSS. This adds style to a web page, then JavaScript. This adds functionality to a web page. With description lists, each list item is a pair of terms and definitions. The last thing I'm going to show you, you can create a nested list within a list. So let's say I would like to add a sublist of individual toppings to our unordered list. Within the list item, we just create a new list. Let's say that I would like another unordered list. So I need a pair of UL tags. And what are some toppings we can place on our pizza? So we need a list item. What about pepperoni? So we have a sublist going if you take a look on the web page right now. Uh, then maybe, what about mushrooms next? I like mushrooms. And peppers, I guess. All right, people, those are how to create lists. There's three types, unordered, ordered, and description lists. Just use a pair of appropriate tags depending on the list you want to use. So yeah, everybody, that's how to create different lists in HTML. If you found this video helpful, please remember to smash that like button, leave a random comment down below, and subscribe if you'd like to become a fellow bro.